Welcome back. Thanks for being here today. I share another powerful, powerful message saved from a recent Instagram stories. Today's message happened to be on Instagram stories last Monday, March 11th. I took a poll asking my viewers if they wanted me to save the footage and share it here so that it could be referred back to. And once again, I believe it was over 80% of viewers who took advantage of that poll, and I thank you for the feedback. I've had a couple recent really powerful messages from Instagram stories that many of you have really found uh, touching in areas of your life, of adapting, of being resilient, of stepping into your power, of leaning on the Lord because we all know that the enemy is at work and we talk more about that today. Also, how we do hard things. We do hard things and I share some of my personal daily documents from my recent workshop, Live a Mastery Life and create some self-personal daily documents to check in with yourself to help you overcome any blind spots. So without further ado, let's dive into the powerful message and I will see you on the back end with some upcoming dates to mark your calendar. What a morning looks like <laughs> in Tracy's world. <laughs> Personal document is up in front of me. We're rocking and we're rolling. Be a better master of yourself. Be a better master of yourself. But the enemy is at work. The enemy is always at work. Huh. Okay, let's back it up a little. Be a better master of yourself. But the enemy is at work, Tracy. Yet your job is, t is obedience. God's job is outcome. So let's see. The enemy is at work in my life. The goal is that I'm going to be a better master of myself. And my job in that is obedience. God's job is outcome. So that means, okay, that means I'm going to be tested today. I'm going to be tested because the enemy is at work. i got to get this sweatshirt off if I'm going to be tested. <sighs> yep. I better get that <laughs> puppy off because <laughs> i got to gear up. I've got to buck up for what's to come. Well, it's already started. <laughs> It starts upon awakening. It takes me one minute to talk to you, and then I have to wait one whole minute for that clip to upload. That's why I don't get on here much anymore. <laughs> What's the opportunity? Okay, so I will be tested. We know that because the enemy is at work, so I will be tested. Today, it's only four minutes after 4 a.m., and the tests are just coming. They're just about to begin. But I have to be a better master of myself, and my job is obedience. What does that look like for me? What does that say about how I master my day because in being obedient I need to be a better master of myself although the devil is at work sounds pretty challenging but I know that I can do it because I'm a person of increase 
Regardless of what anyone says or does, I have the power to choose in being a better master of myself. So what does that look like? Hmm, I may have to overcome today. I may have to be resilient. I may have to see opportunities in the test. I may have to adapt, adjust course. Now remember, Tracy, this one will jog your memory. The road to success is always under construction, but your job, Tracy, is obedience. Be a better master of yourself. Here's my question. How do you gear up for your day? How do you set the tone for your day? Because the enemy is at work. Who is doing the work in your life? Are you being obedient? Are you becoming a better master of yourself? If you're not, maybe you're not setting yourself up for success. Failing to plan is planning to fail. You are your own compass, you know. You are your own compass. You set the course for your life. But never forget your responsibility in being obedient. Knowing that the enemy is always present and always at work. You can overcome, you can adapt, you can adjust course. You can be resilient. You can still leave people better than you found them, regardless of what anyone says or does, because that, my friends, is called mastering yourself, and that is how you live a mastery life. It's free to all of you. Had to break away for cup number two. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Now I'm going to be tested to try to juggle this baby downstairs. Sorry for the sipping, but you know what? I'm giving you a lot of nuggets. <laughs> you can overcome the sipping. Or maybe it's just a test. Maybe you're tested. <laughs> um, I will share with you, though... I woke up to a beautiful, beautiful blessing. As you know, I'm sleeping before the world even starts winding down. <laughs> no shame. And last night was definitely... <sighs> last, last night was no exception. <laughs> In fact... I woke up and I had a message from Haley, my business manager. She sent it at 6.24 p.m. I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it until this morning. Why? <laughs> well, <laughs> someone just shut down early last night. What can I say? She already knew that I was struggling because she started her message with, you may already be sleeping. <laughs> yes, quite possibly under a heated blanket. <sighs> Every Friday when we have Junie, there's not a Friday that goes by that at some point or time where... I am comforting her because there's frustration, right? She's a toddler. They get frustrated. They, they want to do more than what they're capable of in that moment. And I comfort her over and over. At least, there's again, there's not a Friday that goes by that I don't comfort her and say, Honey, 
it's okay. We do hard things. We do hard things. I say it here all the time. When I'm struggling, when I'm tested, when I'm frustrated in being obedient, I do hard things. Tracy, you do hard things. Well, I woke up this morning and Kirsten had shared in our family text a video clip of Junie last night doing a hard thing. Listen to what she says. Listen to what June says in the clip. And I'm not taking any credit for this because there's a good chance she's hearing it in her home. But listen to what June says in the clip when she is doing the hard thing. Hey, Let's all make that our mission today, to do hard things, knowing, knowing up front is the key, that the enemy is at work, the devil is very busy, <laughs> very busy, yes, and the harder things you do, the more present the enemy will be because you are such a hefty target. So today, we are all going to do hard things. The enemy will show up over and over, but we will do hard things because we are obedient and we will be a better master of ourselves. Here's something to chew on. It's just a test. Just a test. <laughs> Here's something to chew on. So Tracy, what do you do when someone else that is in your life knows that you are putting the work in to become a better master of yourself and they purposely go above and beyond trying to trip you up because they know how hard you're working. Well, again, the enemy is at work, right? The enemy is also at work in their life. Always remember that. Yeah, how do you handle that? They go above and beyond crafting <laughs> their agenda to try to trip you up. How do you handle that? Well, again, when you know the enemy is at work, not only in your life, but also in their life, we know who's working in their life. We know who's not doing the work. Stay in your lane, stay in your box. Allow them. Let them. Give them permission. It's hard. I know how hard it is. It's hard. But in the end, they're really not winning. Because what happens is your awareness, thank God you're doing the work because you are aware. They lose your respect. And that's big. That's hefty. That's a hefty loss. And what valuable gift do we have that that person who is going above and beyond testing us because the enemy is at significant work in their life, what gift that is so valuable do they no longer 
get to unwrap. Our time, our conversation, because when you no longer respect someone because of what they're doing, you shut down. The boundaries go up and you shut down. You have no more to say, no more to share, no more time to give because they don't deserve your gift of time, respect, and conversation. No reply is a reply. No reply is a reply. You simply go silent. You choose to no longer be affected, triggered, or penetrated by their antics. And let them wonder why. Why you don't give them your precious gifts. Because the enemy is working very, very smart in their life. And they're allowing it. And they can choose differently. Don't stop putting the work in and being a better master of you. And when you trip up, it's just an opportunity to exercise that learning muscle again. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the opportunity to learn a just course and do hard things. And do hard things. Today's powerful message will be saved in the Monday highlight for one week. If you'd like me to save this in a YouTube video so you can reference after the one week mark, once again, I will take a poll. I did this last week or the week before on a week ago Thursday, and it was over 80% of those that took advantage of the poll wanted it in a YouTube video, and that video will come out Friday. There's also another one coming out tomorrow. Play small. Who remembers that one? Stay safe. Play small. Give it up. Give it up, Tracy. Who remembers that message? Tomorrow on YouTube. Then on Friday, we'll be back. We'll be back for, I may have struggle, but I'm not struggling. So two very powerful messages this week. If, <laughs> yes, if you would like me to save this one for a YouTube video so that you can reference it later on, let me know. I will take a poll. I will let you be the judge. I listen to you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And thank you for being on the Choose Your Hard journey. Love people like that. Love, love, love surrounding myself with other like-minded people, becoming a better master of themselves. Beautiful, beautiful. An email that I have sent to me every day, what I love is it releases like right after, well, this one, this came through at 128 a.m. So I always have it in time for my workout. And it's just this dailyverses.net. And every morning when I'm on my ARC trainer doing my devotionals and all of my work, I open my verse of the day. And every day it's just something different and it's very simple. This is it. This is all you get. You get a picture <laughs> in your verse of the day. So it's just another um, little daily, you know, one of my little daily practices. But if you are interested in something like this, dailyverses.net. Mess with me, Snow. Mess with me. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you with some spring flowers. Take that. <laughs>
mess with me. <laughs> mess with me. <laughs> Snow. People thinking. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? We got spring in the air. Not snow. That's not snow. <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself today. We are getting some warmer temperatures today. I think maybe high 50s. Yes, celebrate that win. Yes, that gray. Those gray roots are going to get covered today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we always go in with clean, dry hair. Hair is clean. Have to dry it. Mm. So costly. Drives me crazy. There's just certain things that drive me nuts to pay money for. One is hair maintenance, color maintenance. I'm going to address this question on here because I'm pretty sure based on who... Um, left it on YouTube. I'm pretty sure she follows me here because I recognize the name. It's on the video, Should You Be Concerned About Your Weight? If you missed that video, I'll put it in here. The person says, Tracy, do you have a video on what to do to get a good night sleep? Before I answer the question, speaking of things that I just mm, <laughs> hate spending my money on, um, I have stepped up in, in 2024. That's toothpaste dried. I still have to put lip product on. Just got done brushing my teeth. One of my quarterly goals, well, this is a goal moving forward. So the goal has actually been lifted. It's now just maintaining what I'm doing. But going into 2024, quarter one, one of the new additions to optimizing my systems was recording every single penny that is an expense that 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 money goes out which I already did for business because for tax purposes I have to do that and not that I didn't know prior where all the money my money was going I didn't itemize it to in an optimal way so now this year I am itemizing everything. And <laughs> there's an area that just makes me go, wow. <laughs> Things that make you go, wow. Things that make you go, wow. Yeah, there's an area that I already knew I spent uh, that probably was one of the largest areas of my spending, but it definitely is a wow. <laughs> It is a wow. <laughs> um, I don't see it changing, knowing me and my values and, and what I where I place value. I don't see it changing. Um, and it's okay. It's just good information. Any guesses? Any guesses on the highest area that I spend? I already have an assumption that... 90% of people that leave their thoughts will be wrong. I really believe that. For those that are so clued in, I mean, peel back the layers of Tracy, they'll fall in the 10%. Okay. Tracy, do you have a video on what you do to get a good night's sleep? Well, I do have a video on sleep, and I've also talked about sleep in a gazillion of my videos, which kind of surprises me about this person because I feel like this has been a this person's been a longtime follower. But here's what I would recommend. Well, first of all, go search my videos. There, there's one completely on sleep, and then I have so many where I talk about sleep. But this is so typical, and we're all kind of wired this way. It's always natural to want to know what to do. What to do. What do I do to lose weight? What do I do to get a good night's sleep? What do I do to get in better shape? Let's change the do. Here, here's the assignment. Here's the practice. Here's my reply. All this person needs to do is change one word. Change do to avoid 
let's read it again. This is me. This is coaching. This is this is what happens in coaching. Tracy, do you have a video on what you can avoid to get a good night sleep? Do you have a video on what to avoid to get a good night sleep? What to avoid to lose weight? What to avoid to get into shape? That, my friends, will get your wheels spinning. What do I need to avoid to get a good night's sleep? Mm. Is it outside of me or is it within me? Now, those of you that know that I suffered from over 10 years of chronic insomnia due to perimenopause, I would say 90 to 95%, if not more, was outside of me. Um, but there was some within me because I've eaten within a three-hour window of going to bed. I've had alcohol within a three-hour window of going to bed. I've accidentally left my thermostat up, right? My sleep hygiene wasn't always impeccable, and that would be because of my doing. Everything else was outside of me. And while I worked with a lot of practitioners, and I definitely <laughs> avoided the noise of the world, because I'm very good at that. I mean, I've been diagnosed, anyone, anyone who knew, even, even some of you on here would diagnose me <laughs> based on yourself, based on yourself, because I have this, you have this. I am so glad that I don't listen to that. But to be a better master of me and doing all the protocols that I needed to to correct the sleep issue, I optimized being a better master of me, became more of a stronger advocate for myself, and I take 100% responsibility for correcting my sleep issue. No one else played a role in that. Well, I can't say that. No one physically. And while I may take a lot of things at bedtime, <laughs> shall, we, shall we take a peek? Tonight's cocktail. Come on, Trace. I know you're not left-handed, but you can do this. Hold on. Can I get it open? There we go. When you're not left-handed. And while I may have a hefty cocktail, only two little pills in there are what I would call, I don't even know if I'd call them pharmaceutical because they're HRT, but everything else was me creating my cocktail and it has been a game changer. But boy, did I put the work in and no, I wouldn't share it here, but if you work with me in coaching, I may consider it. And I know that you know why I would never share it on here. Too many people would run out and buy everything and they'd start taking it because it's so easy to get caught up in the noise of others. That wouldn't be addressing your sleep concerns. We're talking about Tracy's sleep concerns. So if I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a client, they express to me what they're, what's happening, what their sleep concerns are, but I'll never even give them one, <laughs> one supplement I take until we address what you're avoiding. Oh, you're up watching Netflix until 11 p.m.? No, <laughs> I'm not sharing my supplements, but we can get to that. We can get to that when you're shutting down at 9 a.m. So maybe in a few months, we'll get to that. I share that because I'm not withholding information or anything like that too deliberately. It's you have to understand my role as a coach. I do not have the answers for my client. I do not have those answers. Um, if you think that's what coaching is, you've misread it. That's your friends and family. Your friends and family have your answers and hopefully you're tuning them out. <laughs> your coach doesn't have your answers. You do. The coach helps you find your answers, but we also have to troubleshoot 
what you're doing to prevent yourself from achieving goals. So if sleep is the goal, we have got to look at what you're doing to prevent that from happening. Once we start covering that, we can start moving the needle towards maybe a protocol of supplements. I just went to see if anyone is guessing correctly and Cindy, Cindy, <laughs> Cindy, if you're watching and I know you are, you are right. So far, you're the only one who guessed right. So bam, bam, I love it. Awesome, awesome you. Gray be gone, gray be gone <laughs> for, for three weeks. Well, actually only maybe about a week. <laughs> and then I start using the touch-up products. I just went in to do a check and see how the guessing game is going. There's actually quite a few of you getting it right. I love it. <laughs> and, I've, and I've had a couple chuckles. One put alcohol for sure. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> yes, alcohol for sure. Well... <laughs> Not currently. We can't say that for February because of Lent, right? Uh, and there's no alcohol. Mm, it'd be nice. <laughs> next round. After Lent is over, next round on me for that girl. <laughs> Actually, when I'm with my second daughter, Haley, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, it's highly probable that evening yes yes i'm in bed <laughs> i have a heated blanket and a heating unit for my hands <laughs> i'm not even going to tell you the little disease that i have where i lose feeling in my fingertips that we'll save that for another day <laughs> so sometimes when i lose feeling i need this is like a hot unit pad or whatever <sighs> just no, no judgment. I'm, I'm in bed. I'm four minutes away from shutting down for the night, but I'm just reading and addressing questions on YouTube, emails, um, Instagram, direct messages. And I had a lady reach out that took the Live a Mastery Life workshop. She said, took the personal documents workshop. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant. I love it. How do you decide what day of your personal document, you are going to put things like personal messages you hear that inspire you? Great question. And I did address this. I don't know if it was in the Q&A in the workshop or if someone reached out afterwards with an email. Sometimes that will happen. But great question. So I have six daily documents because Currently, I am training six days per week. So I'm getting up first thing in the morning, 3 or 4 a.m., getting on my ARC trainer. And while I'm on my ARC trainer, I do my daily work. I do my devotionals, all of that, and then all my admin work. I have created my documents where they're broken down into more of a topic each day. So for example, I just pulled up a couple of days just to give you an example. So one of the days is more about self, um, being a better master of yourself, and then everything, every message that I have in that document all has to do with that, you know, be a perpetual student of personal development. Um, you are your own compass. You set the course for your own life. Be a person of increase. Think with an abundant mindset. So there's a lot of that. I also have this. This is really a good one. I believe fun, abundant, and harmonious living is mine. Like, I believe that. And I'm reminded that I believe that fun abundant and harmonious living are mine. It's a great place to be to believe I deserve that. And then another day is more on 
my systems in how I live my life. So they're not so much being a better master of maybe my emotions. If you, we think about like emotional intelligence, which by the way, tomorrow I have a continuing education unit to take for my staying credentialed. And it's on, it's a topic I love because it all has to do with emotional intelligence. But for example, schedule and craft your life. Life without design is erratic. Build a routine and stick with it. Almost everything is non-essential. Distinguish the vital few from the trivial many. Tracy, figure this out. How can you get more by doing less? Craft your life this way. Do less but better. It's, it's more... And don't forget, I don't just rattle through these guys. I really reflect on them. It's a practice. It's not just a reading. It's a practice. I embed it over and over. I don't want to get rid of these right now because they have to sink in deep in the core. Here's a great one. Eliminate most and pursue few. Eliminate most and pursue pursue few. Focus on the things that truly matter and excel. What can I go big on? Don't waste time on the trivial. Yeah, I I can be a, um, you know, I'm level five energy all day long. So I'm very innovative thinking. I come up with things and I'm going to start a new business <laughs> like every day. I I guess you would kind of call that day maybe more focus work. And then I have a day that has all to do with gratitude. It's all gratitude. Live more in gratitude than in complaint. Be grateful in everything in good times and bad. Be grateful in everything. This is my favorite one. I say this one often and remind myself when I am trickling into focusing on maybe the negatives. If you focus on what you have, you gain what you lack. If you focus on what you lack, you lose what you have. Remember when I shared you either get better or you get better? Um, that's another one. And then there, I have a whole day designated to more work-related, more business entrepreneurship, business ownership. Um, I love the one that is on, I don't know what day's document, Day six, the one that I brought on, was it right before Lent? I think so, because that's when I was stepping up my Lent, my Lent, <laughs> Lenten game. There you go, Lenten season game. Um, that one's all on struggle, like overcoming struggle, adapting, great messages in there. And then one is completely... Did I already say that? See, I have to let these upload and I'm fried at this time of the night. And then one is all more optim. Yeah, I think I did. Optimizing business, um, you know, more business related entrepreneurship. Here's a great one. Visibility increases credibility, increases profitability. Visibility increases credibility, increases profitability. Love that one. Love it. We'll be back for, I may have struggle, but I'm not struggling. So two very powerful messages this week. If, <laughs> yes, if you would like me to save this one for a YouTube video so that you can reference it later on, let me know. I will take a poll. I will let you be the judge. I listen to you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And thank you for being on the choose your hard journey. Love people like that. Love, love, love. Surrounding myself with other like-minded people, becoming a better master of themselves. Beautiful. Beautiful. I hope you enjoyed today's message. 
please feel free to use the comments section and weigh in. A couple of last minute reminders, just over two weeks, three week intense for quarter two starts on Monday, April 8th. A couple of things to be aware of, the information email with everything to prepare you for three week intents. That email goes out the Wednesday before, which is April 3rd. And what you can expect in that email is a link to the exclusive three week intense webpage that only three week intense members have access to. You will get your printable downloads. There will be an activity log, a habit tracker, your guideline document, a clean eating guide with foods that I recommend for clean eating. You get to follow whatever diet you choose while on three week intense. You will also have a link to join the private Facebook group page. This is a wonderful community where all of the members from three week intense can engage. We can lift and encourage each other. And then I spend a lot of time during the 21 days doing some group coaching, sending little video clips almost daily to keep you moving along. There will be a link in the description box below to get to the three week intense course page so you can learn more, you can read the testimonials, and you can decide if you're interested in joining three week intense for quarter two. We'd love to have you. Also new for this round of three week intense, instead of one information video, you will have several videos where I break down all of the requirements and that's to make it easier for you to refer back to a particular requirement that maybe you have a question on or you just need to be reminded. All of that will come in your email on Wednesday, April 3rd, and then we meet that Sunday, April 7th for the live Q&A where I address any questions you have after going through all of the material and getting prepared. And then we start the very next day, Monday, April 8th. The other thing I wanted to remind you, the goals workshop that I facilitated and hosted at the beginning of the year, that is coming to a close very soon. It expires on Friday, April 5th. I encourage you to take advantage of that workshop. It is currently on discount. You can get to all the information and your discount code in the description box below this video. You'll also get an invitation to join me the following day after that workshop expires, Saturday, April 6th, to talk all things goals and address your questions, what you learned, what you can take, and how you can experience expand and increase going into quarter two of 2024, setting and achieving and following through on those goals. So that's what I have for you today. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for being here and don't forget to weigh in on today's topic.